It's about eight in the morning. I'm here at Glacier National Park and I'm gonna be trying to bike most of going to the Sun Road today. It's early June right now, so not all of the road is available. They're still plowing around Logan's Pass, which means that I won't be able to go all the way, but I'll still be able to do a, a large stretch of it from the West Glacier side and it'll be hopefully less crowded because it's not the busy peak summer season yet so there won't be as many cars on the road and there's a stretch that is unavailable to cars. Here's what I'm planning to bring. I have my camera with a new uh, wide lens I'm gonna try out, some gloves if it's cold, my sunglasses, a rain poncho just in case, bars and whatnot, my bear spray because there are bears in this part of the country, some earbuds just in case if I have a pit stop, sunblock, portable charger, my wallet, which is an old camera case, a headlamp and medical kit for emergencies, a knife to be safe, some spare tubes, a puffy coat, and gonna try to fit it all in that bag with my camera on in my backpack. Just left my lodging and it's already breathtaking. Setting off in the morning, I thought I'd beat the traffic getting into the park, but I guess everyone else had the same idea. So to enter the park, you need a vehicle reservation as well as a park pass or just the daily entrance fee. But what's nice is on a bike, you don't need the vehicle reservation. And I have a parks pass, which is good for one year. So I don't have to pay anything to get into the park. To me, that's a pretty good argument to come in here on your bike instead. Just after Apgar, the shoulder for bikes narrows quite a bit, but it's still pretty. Nothing but windy roads. Made it the 13 miles from the place I'm staying to Lake McDonald Lodge. The road is gorgeous. There is very little shoulder, uh, so if you haven't done much biking with cars passing you just be aware of that they've all been very generous to me and, and giving me plenty of space i'm halfway to the loop from here but i actually can't access the stretch between avalanche creek and the loop because there are currently plowers there until 4 p.m and it's only 10 a.m right now so the plan is to take a little break and go for a hike Still kind of unsure how far I'm going, if I'm gonna to try to do a whole hike or turn around so I have more downtime. I might try to make it to Snyder Lake. We'll see. I don't wanna scare this deer, but it's just walking on the path slowly in front of me, nibbling at grass. Hey deer. You eating on the path? Guess we're taking a little slow break. Staring at a deer's butt. Hey! I can now list yelling at a deer for eating in my way on my list of accomplishments. We've hit snow. We made it to Snyder Lake. I'll be honest, it's, it's a little underwhelming compared to some of the other gorgeous lakes here, but the views along the way have been completely stunning. So I'm gonna eat a little food, take a little break, and then hike another four and a half miles back. I'm honestly glad I hit some snow because it's kind of cleaning my shoes. We made it back to the lodge. Time to have some lunch and get back on the bike. Reunited with the bike. It's looking a little cloudier than it was earlier, but it's time to keep riding. We're at Avalanche Creek. This is where it's closed to cars, but we can still make it through on a bike. Okay. Looks good so far. Wow. I mean, the whole going to the Sun Road is amazing, but to do it with no cars 
is incredible. <laughs> I mean, come on. My jaw has just been hanging. <laughs> oh my God, snowy peaks. Oh my God. This is hands down the prettiest road I have ever seen in my life. Ah. It's been real steep for a couple miles, which I think means we're close. <sighs> Looks like we got a little rain too. Nice. We made it to the loop. <laughs> Oh my God, it's gorgeous. <laughs> this is as far as we go. This leads on to Logan's Pass. But hey, you know what? This old fart is done riding uphill today anyway. So now we get the fun downhill part. <laughs> back to West Glacier safe and sound. Ended up doing 52 miles on the bike and nine miles hiking. In total, I biked from just outside West Glacier up to the loop and back with a stop at Lake McDonald Lodge. A lot of other people, pretty much everyone else, drove up to Avalanche Creek and then just biked up to the loop on that stretch that didn't have cars, which I would totally recommend if you're not up for the whole thing or if you have a car at your disposal. A lot of people had e-bikes too if you, you don't think you can do it on a normal bike. Whatever you can do to get up to that point, do it because it is truly breathtaking. I hope this was helpful in planning your trip to Glacier. I hope to see you here.